All right, so I don't remember, uh, I, I don't know if I can add this on to the other uh, cartridge video or not. If I can, this is a bonus track. Uh, a week later, I got another one. If not, this is going to be a video on specifically just changing the spring cartridge without all the other drama about the leaks and stuff. And uh, luckily enough, at uh, 3 o'clock the other day, I came out on a weekend and found this running. Well, spring cartridge let loose on this one. Luckily, uh, it was on a weekend day at 3 o'clock when I come out and check them anyway, as opposed to happening afterwards. So, the first thing is you pull that back up and you turn the water off. That way it doesn't matter anymore. The water's down. So, spring cartridge, if you're not familiar, this is what controls that valve. There's a part number, we get them out of JAG Mobile Solutions, somewhere up in the Great White North. Okay, so, starting down the side, once you turn the water off, this cover comes off. You actually got a couple little tabs that you have to kind of push in on. There's the little tabs lines up on that little gizmo then we got a couple of quarter inch bolts which if you have your handy dandy six in one screwdriver my handy dandy six in one screwdriver which I didn't have any proper configuration so if you're not familiar with these Lowe's for like six bucks or something this side has a quarter inch driver plus a number one, actually, yeah, I guess you'd call that number one screwdriver bit. Other side has a 5 sixteenths with a regular number two bits. Very handy. We're going to use that bit. Right now we're going to use a quarter inch driver to get these two bolts and I can't see down there as well as I'm showing you because Oh dear. I got that wrong right off the bat. I mean, like that. So, put the screwdriver back in it. Flip it over to the 5 sixteenths. Most common tool I'll use. Yeah, I only did this a week ago. You'd think I'd remember. Anyway. So. These two. Where are you? Pretty long, coarse threaded screw is going to come out of here and they're screwed into some plastic fittings so that's why they're big coarse threaded ones you got to be careful when you put them back in you don't over torque them and break them and of course the most critical one is the center screw which we'll be pulling out of that cartridge in a minute You usually have a cushiony pad on here, but if you actually use the tools, that wears out. And you could actually take it and get a new one based on just that. You see how long these suckers are. Because they're lifetime guarantee and they're not going to give you any hard time. If there's one on the shelf, you just grab it, go up there and say, I need another one. When the tips get broke or this quarter inch or the 5 sixteenths because these are aluminum, this will eventually wear out if you use it a lot. Just go get another one. Alright, so this comes out out of the way. Here's your actual valve that controls the water. Under here now, like I said I can't see it, but see down there, the center of that is a screw. And then we got to put our number two tip back in. And we'll pull that out of there. All right, sorry, battery ran out. Had to switch batteries. Had 30 seconds. So how long this takes? All right, where am I getting out of the way? In the center of this thing. I do it by feel because like I said I can't see down there. 
I know you're thinking, no, move it over a little bit. It's over there. Well, I can't hear you. There. Now, the most critical screw in this whole thing is this little center one when you put it back in. Because, as I said before, unless you didn't hear that part of the video, I call a little black tower that's in there. It's actually the end of the shaft of this valve that will snap off if you over torque this screw putting it back in and it's easy to do because first of all you got to make sure the cartridge is centered on the little square shaft if it's not and you try to pull it in you will snap it so I've heard the uh, end of the spring fall out of there so it's pretty common hold on while I get my glasses and I'll show you Wow, I didn't realize I was doing that without my glasses on. Okay. So right down here, you see that that's not there? It's funny, isn't it? Uh-huh. That goes right there. So let's just whip this other one out. with these two bolts which is kind of weird to me because it's not like you're ever going to wear those out. Anyway the spring cartridge, we compare them side by side, you can see the part that breaks off goes right there. So take that and the long bolts and do whatever you want with them. This beautiful stainless screw however you need to reuse it's going to go on the floor and then you're going to pick it up and it's going to go right in there so here's the critical part now I need to get access to the valve you may not like this but you're going to have to get access to this get out of there so down inside here I don't know you can't really see it the square shaft square shaft has to fit down inside there and it has to pop in okay in case you didn't see the other video this is going to end up in this configuration right here ends up right there so it goes up against that when you push down on it it twists the shaft and opens this valve inside the toilet dumping everything in there turning the water on if you just want to add water you lift up on it and it'll just simply push this down a little bit and add water to the bowl. So this has to be in that position plus this spring cartridge has to be on that square shaft that has to be done together. This has to be on there first. I can do this one handed really see what I'm doing somewhere up in there now what you got to do is I don't think I can do this with one hand I'm going to manipulate that back and forth a little bit and push on this spring cartridge with my fingers this lever is going to be about in that position and the spring cartridge is going to pop on in there yeah there's no way for me to show that is there can't tell what you can see so I'm pushing and I'm rolling this ball back and forth a little bit Unless it's going in all the way nah, there's no way it's going in all the way okay well it wasn't very dramatic was it but I felt it pop in there I don't know if you saw that or not trust me it popped in there one way you can tell is now, if you hold that thing in, this thing is somewhat pinned right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It won't just flop around. It'll just flop around if it's not in there correctly. So now, I'm going to try to do it without holding that cartridge in. I should be okay. This is the critical one. Because if you try to tighten that screw up, 
and it's not on the shaft, it'll be riding up on the side and you will over torque it and you will snap that little sucker off. And then you have to replace this whole base because those valves really aren't available as a spare. And usually what they do for us is go out in the production line and grab one and sacrifice a completed assembly to give us the part we need. I forget what they cost. All right, now I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit. Make sure I'm in there. It's on there. I really can't tell you. Get snug and then just a little bit more. Not too much. Try it out. First thing happens is that it breaks off. And you have to fix it anyway. Then, hopefully you can see, those two bolts go in there. They go in a couple of holes. Which, as you can see right there, they're underneath those screws, slightly outboard. I cannot see them, so I'm going to put a light on there. I can get one, I can push that in place, twist it a little bit. I'm going to say that's probably where they belong. I am going to slowly and carefully and gently start screwing those in. When that thing gets pushed up against there. So you're good to hold pressure on it. Just snug that one up. So you always want to start both of them first before you even get going on it. That way it's not pushed sideways and twisted. Which will cause the other one to cross the red. And if you notice how coarse those threads are, if you get it cross threaded, it's going to cross the red for serious. All right, little tighten that up. Tighten that up about that much. Theoretically, we turn the water on. If we got it right, pick up, add water to the bow, push down, flushes, water dumps through it. I don't know what time that is, whatever the time on that video was. Like the cover probably clean it before you put it on. There's a slot right there. Well, an anti-slot. There's a little thing there. And then you kind of push that in. Trust me, push that in. Oh, come on. Why not in the right place? to try to put both of them in at the same time so I'm trying to put one in and then pop the other and we're done all right and if you have a problem where the water does not stay in the bowl like this one as I mentioned in the last one in case you didn't see that there's a gasket that goes right up under here you have to take the this whole thing off which has got a clamp and a v-clamp on it and you take that and you can buy the gasket separately just to replace that uh, the other two we have are working fine so this eye uh, you know that's what happens get around to it one of these days actually not really gonna worry about it at the moment all right and there we go however long that took that's how long it takes to change the spring cartridge and no more leaking all over the place